Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Maker. Continuing from the last episode, I'll continue covering levels that were submitted to Retro Redux, starting off with this one. The final stretch, Mega Man 2 Wily 4 and 6 Remix by George, with 82 plays and a score of 27. A fairly well regarded level, let's see what it has to offer. If all goes well, this episode will cover all remaining levels submitted to Retro Redux. If you're interested in seeing what this challenge's rules were, check out the topmost link in the description below. Also, as always, the full disclaimer of this entire LP series is linked in the description below. Also in the description are the timestamps for all the levels that cover these parts. So if you want to check out for levels covered, expand the description. I used to prefer jar blocks over the fake floors gimmick. Well that's different, we have two choices. Let's go up first. This stage is certainly different from the original. Very different. Put it another way, it feels more like a labyrinth. Need a crash lift riding section. I suppose that Matt was to fall on top of the last crash lift there. Oh, this boss. Not as bad as it was originally. And to be quite honest, these cannons are more annoying compared to the original enemies. On to YE6, I guess. Unlike the original stage though, that room with the checkpoint has two large weapon pickups. So if you quick reset, you won't run out of crash bomb energy, which fixes the biggest problem with the original boss.
Overall, this was a marked improvement over the original. Second up is Ringman Remix by Official Meme Guy, with 50 plays and a score of 11. By this point, this is the 8 or 9th Ringman Remix. I wonder why his stage became so popular for Reduxes. Perhaps because of these platforms? To replace the Hippo Mini Boss. I know what, I'll just skip it. I spy an optional ladder up there. Only for an E-Tank though. I was hoping for an extra weapon block, but this works anyways. I also wish there was a challenge behind it. Um, that was my fault, I mistimed my jump. That's why there was a checkpoint before this room. A bit of a difficulty spike, but I'm fine with it. The stage already introduced this challenge earlier. And I always have the option to make it easier by using the Bright Stopper. I mean the Flash Stopper. So glad that Official Meme Guy gave us the option. And this marks the end of this level. Nice introduction, escalation of challenges, enemies, and gimmicks. And checkpoint placement was fine. About the same difficulty as the original, maybe a bit tougher. In fact, the structure of this room makes this boss battle a bit easier. Otherwise, I say this is a decent level. This stage would have been titled The Canyon Challenge by Eleven Man. So, third up is Shashade Man by Luigi Goes Hard 69, with 19 plays and a score of 0. Only the Mega Buster and his weakness, which I haven't got yet.
More enemies than I initially expected in this first section. I always think that the heads of these tire enemies are a lot less durable than they actually are. Wild Coil is probably to the left. Yep, there it is. Pretty easy to get. Just a minor slide jumping challenge. I recognize this setup. This is to replicate the pumpkin mini boss and how you have two different options to defeat it. Depending on which way you defeat it, you get two different roster to stage. To the right of here is where it face off against Proto Man. And after defeating him, we'd get his Proto Shield. Assuming we met up with Proto Man during his previous appearances. And where the two routes link up with each other. There would have been some paintings in the background, but that toss is not part of the engine currently. For a castle stage like this, I didn't expect it to have as many enemies. Nevertheless, the checkpoint placement was fine. Though the way this stage was structured, it felt more like a fortress stage. And he isn't actually weak to the wild coil.
In fact, for this boss battle, it's better to use either the Mega or Protobuster. So this was an okay to decent level. Fourth up is Blizzard Man Mega Man Challenge by Blizzard Boy with 17 plays and a score of 3. Gonna always check. Not exactly in isolation first, but I guess it works. These enemies aren't too difficult even when their gimmicks nearby. A random lone count bomb there. I thought it was signaling the start of a spike fall section. I recognize this. This is a submarine from Blizzard Man's level. That hole over there looks awfully suspicious, but it's probably nothing. Oh, I love to use the wind tornado like this when it works properly. All the stages in this episode have good checkpoint placement. And that's wonderful to see. And this is a perfect place to put it because of the falling section. The level designer knew there was an elevated chance of players dying here. And I thought I was standing further to the right, that was my bad. But I'm okay with this section. Both of the deaths here that happened are my fault. Remember, ice physics in this engine are really strong. I 
Of course, I could circumvent this entire section by using a jet adapter, but I want to do it fairly. And this marks the end of this level. Nice escalation and introduction challenges. Though all the challenges, aka enemies and gimmicks, weren't exactly introduced in isolation. And that final section was a neat climax. I already covered this level during episode 294, so I'll be skipping over it. And this level was removed from the server. It would have been titled Crash Man Remix by Retro Gamer Aaron. So fifth up is Spring Man Recoiled by PJB Gamer with 36 plays and a score of 4. Another Spring Man Redux. It seems there is a concentration of reduxes for certain stages, especially for levels originally hailing from Mega Man's One True Tree. That's one of my critiques for this level design challenge, but that critique applies more to the level designers. And those punch blocks are nicely synced up so that if you rush forward, you can speed run past them, but just barely. My bad, failed to do the slide jump on time. Kind of replicating the original room. And harder than the original with the addition of spikes. Sorry for a jump cut over there. I got a text message. That felt a bit scary. Especially the upwards jump there.
I suppose this is the climax of the stage. Reduxing all the elements and challenges we've encountered throughout the level in harder configurations. Not taking any chances here with these springs. Yep, that was it. That was the climax. Time to face off against Springman. Next up is Mega Man Tree Wily 4, but it's an actual stage by Very Clean Guy, with 50 plays and a score of 2. Assuming I didn't miss any others, this will be the final level I'll cover that was submitted to Retro Redux. Now, if I did miss others, please leave your level IDs in the comment section below, and I'll cover them either during a future Veer Submitted Levels episode or during a live stream. I've covered 86 levels in all. This is one of the largest level design challenges I've seen yet. Each one of these teleporters leads to mini reduxes of previous Mega Man Tree levels. We already had Snake Man and Top Man, now we're going through Magnet Man. I'd rather use Rush Jet here. The Mag Fly is a bit too inconsistent for my own taste. Oh, this is going to be a problem. But I have to do all four of them in one go. Unless I hit the checkpoint midway through, which I probably should have done instead. Hardman wasn't too bad. The hardest redox was Magnet Man's, mainly because of the mag flies. Ah, these magnets are extremely annoying. I'm just going to use Rush Coil this time. I 
I trust my dog more than a mag flies. I don't have a shield. And I wasted all of that. Oh no. That's why. And I'm now forced to re-go through this section all over again. There should have been a checkpoint right after this door. I decided to restart the stage from the very beginning so I didn't have to use a checkpoint there. So now I'm on to the second set of mini redoxes. I'll be using the checkpoint right after I'm done with the set. It's much more risky, but I find these sections to be easier than the intermission sections following these mini redoxes. There should have been a large life pickup or a checkpoint immediately following the first set. That alleviated most of my problems. One wrong move, and I'm a goner. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play safe and hit the checkpoint right now, and then complete this section. I don't want to take the risk. See, I really like the ideas behind this stage, but it really needs one or two more checkpoints. It somewhat suffers from checkpoint starvation. I like both the ideas of this stage and all the mini reduxes of the 8 world master levels. They feel faithful to the original set of challenges they posed. In a way, this feels like a nice conclusion to this entire level design challenge. Because this is essentially 9 reduxes in one. There are 8 reduxes of the 8 Roadmaster levels from Mega Man Tree, along with a redux of Wally Stage 4, which was originally barely a level, by the way. Hardest mini boss yet. That was my bad. 
I panicked a bit there. Now let's do this properly. Well, I guess his weakness had to be that. I can't use a sword snake against him. This boss room setup is going to cause a few problems, though. And I don't have E-Tanks either. The key behind this is to take it slowly and pay more attention to what's going on at the bottom than at the top. Until he at least throws the large spark ball. And it's over. See, I like the ideas behind this stage, as well as the executions of the 8 mini stage reduxes, but the main thing that brought it down for me was the checkpoint starvation. Otherwise, I'll mark this as being my honorable mention of this episode. My favorite level of this episode would be Blizzard Man Mega Man Challenge by Blizzard Boy. So that brings the final level tally to 67 levels covered, 6 levels being skipped over as I covered them during previous episodes, and 13 levels being skipped over as they were removed from the servers. So my final thoughts on this level design challenge were that I found it less enjoyable compared to Nature's Rat. I feel the levels in Nature's Rat were more creative, better designed, and more fun on average. That doesn't mean that all the levels in Rudder Redux were bad, some of them were wonderful. I just found it to be a bit too derivative, and most of the levels focused on a certain set of levels to Redux, mostly levels from Mega Man's 1 True Tree. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day! Toodles!